My colleagues share information with bloggers to destroy others. And this is coming from Yabo Ojo. She shared her thoughts via Instagram and she said, and I quote, what exactly is going on, peeps? Why are we bent on destroying ourselves? Bloggers are feeding on people's lives like there's no tomorrow. Information coming out from colleagues to the ears of bloggers, sending anonymous DMs just to tarnish people's image. I have worked in that show and I know how badly it hurts. Karma is a bitter truth. Leave and let's leave. And then she added one, Yoba added, I don't know how to. Something, be oju ban, ban shape me, oju niafin. Okay, let's not try. Be oju ban shape me, oju la ma fin. Be oju ban shape me, oju la ma fin. See, I'm good like what that. What does it mean? <laughs> when the eye is bringing You're out supposed to be a Yoruba guy. No, no, yeah, yeah but um, what do you mean by Oji Lama Fin? Uh, I understand Oji Ban Shake Me, mm. but Oji Lama Fin. Uh, uh, it's not eyes that you see, see and you use and um, take out the dates. It's still your eyes. Okay, please, that's the But man, I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> Are you sure that's the meaning, though? I, I, that's what I said. I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'm right, actually. If there's that coming out of your eyes, if you want to take it out, you have to look into the mirror and you're still using your eye to take it out. Mm. I'm right. So, do you know what I I'm bad, like me. that. <laughs> so, you've had it, though. Mm. Anyways, um, I think this just boils down to the old fake love in the entertainment industry and. Um, when some people just this is more uh, in the Yoruba Nollywood industry. No, as, as I said, the drama no, no, no. coming out let's, of that let's even just forget stressful. that. And then, um, like the lawyer we had yesterday, Yemisi yeah, Falai, right? Mm. She said, um, a lot of reporters are junkies. Mm, Do you understand? Yeah, for bad news. Do you get so? Um, even if somebody comes to you with a negative story about their industry colleague, yeah. fact check. Do you understand? I think that's the only right thing for any proper journalist to do. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Fact check. Hear the other side of the story. Don't say because, okay, uh, Tony Abraham told me something about um, Liz Anjuri and then I just put it out there. Liz Anjuri told me something about um, Tony Abraham and I just put it out. No, sorry. They're the best example to use because I think that's the <laughs> ones who... I fits. mean, what Iyabo is saying now is the same thing Liz Anjuri came out to say, but like we all agreed her approach was kind of out of um, over the board, but she, she practically said the same thing. And mm. I, I mean, Yabo just not talking about fake news. That's not what she's talking about. She's talking about things that they want to keep personal, like your personal life. And a friend of yours, it's just like me doing stuff with Ewa, she's my co-anchor, and then she has an anonymous page going to feed them. It's not necessarily fake news, but she's feeding them an information about my life that I don't want and out there. I'm saying that. It's, it's not even an issue of fake news or no fake mm -hmm. news. It's an issue of Okay, somebody comes to tell me something about Ewa, right? Mm -hmm. As a professional journalist, it's only right that after you have told me that Ewa secret that you want me to put on my mm -hmm. um, blog site, mm -hmm. it's only right for me to reach out to Ewa right. and be like, um, excuse me, we just said something about your pregnancy. And that if you Ewa doesn't respond... It, yeah, and then if Ewa yeah. doesn't respond, then you put it at the end of your story. At the end of the day, the gist is still out. Uh, um, <laughs> we tried to reach out to Ewa, but um, she said no comment. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm. That way, you've covered your <laughs> behind. Yeah, but to be, I, I totally understand what Ife mm -hmm. is saying, and I agree with him, because most of these bloggers out there, even when they are not, they don't get their facts right. They mm. don't put it there. They don't, they just, yeah. yeah, they will just put it out there like, this is the gist, and... That's what it is. Mm. You get, and but then you know people, we have we have um, professional journalists and then professional platforms, and then we have bloggers that are strictly for gossip. So they are not there to practice your journalism. That is why when I see all this clamor and people saying, "Oh, they are not professional," I'm like, do people understand that it is a blog? So until this you are ready to distinct yourself and say you are going to, yeah, I, I feel like there's still guidance by rules. Like, yeah, like if, I feel like there's still like rules that are guiding all those people. You can't just guiding the rules that will guide. Okay, so someone comes to my DM. Okay, to be see. honest, I think to end this, I feel like celebrities <laughs> should just start. To we need to focus on the people, people she's talking about. She's talking about her own colleagues that are snitching on them. She, her problem is not even the bloggers because she's saying if the bloggers don't have gist, they will not put it out. But you know, people will. That's what she's snitch. saying. Uh -huh. So maybe they need to start understanding that because she's not the first person or the second coming to cry about this. So maybe they should understand I that understand people always pain snitch and, I understand and not do what they what cannot they... defend. 
I'm not saying don't do anything <laughs> bad. See, if you come out tomorrow and say you saw LC, what was the last place I went to? Okay, that you saw me at um um. Okay, let me not mention names. proud. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to mention names. You know, I saw me Where there. The I was sitting with a guy. Were. I was kissing the guy, and my lawyer like, okay, so what now happened? Where did you? Kiss you know. Again? Well, I mm. uh, let's focus on, let's mm. not um, digress. Yeah, right? you know, mm. let's focus on the people she's actually talking about now. I mean, I don't know why people go all the way to bring other people down. down. Mm -hmm. If you want to shine, there's like enough room for you to do that. The sky is big enough get, We have so many A-list celebrities out there. You can always join them. If you're doing something important, something tangible, the fact that you're bringing somebody down doesn't make you... Um, a star because it won't put you there. Mm. It will only bring that person down. And trust me, people rise and fall again. And not even in the Ni Nigeria that we are or the world that we are now. It will just be a gist that to pass by. We even help that person's career because mm. you draw attention to that person. So people need to do better and act right, to be honest. Stop giving other people secrets. People have secrets that they don't want out there. Let these people have their own private life and their personal life. It might not even be a secret, but they don't want it in the public, public domain. So mm -hmm. I come to share with Ife now that this is what happened to me. This is how I feel. About I don't need him. I don't need him to go and tell the next person. Talk oh, more going to getting married. Or talk more going to social media brother. to blast it, mm. to say, oh, else he said this, I said that about her. And the most annoying part is that you probably even did anonymous. So you know you are doing something wrong. If you're not doing anything wrong, you would have told the blogger to quote you. Right? That's right. Yeah. Everybody should just keep their circle tight. Mm. That's the honest truth. Yeah. Sure. If you don't want your I mean, story. have the kind of circle that this way told me hard. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the circle. Right. Yeah. Have the, um, the circle Linda KG had, I mean, to keep her pregnancy for that long and it didn't come out until she was ready to put it out there. Mm. I feel like just keep your circle tight because you can't control how people will behave. Mm -hmm.